every video you watch on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, they claim that it's the most delicious whatever it is they're making you'll ever make. Now, this might not be the most delicious, but I tell you something, my friend, it is so, so tasty. I think you're going to love it. Now, the reason why it's so good is because we're using lots of ingredients that have prominent, strong flavors that just make this recipe a flavor powerhouse. For example, anytime you use chorizo, you know it's going to have that rich, smoky flavor. What we're going to do is we're going to fry the chicken thighs because they've got more flavor and they don't dry out as much as chicken breast in the pan to get some color on them. We'll season them up first. And you're just going to cook them for a few minutes on a high heat to get some nice browning on the outside. Remove them from the pan and set aside. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but I've got a super quick favor to ask. If you could either click like, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this recipe or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It has got absolutely nothing to do with my ego. It just means that if you interact with this video in some way, YouTube is more likely to show it to others so that more people get a chance to cook my recipes. Thanks in advance. Now back to the recipe. Reduce the heat to medium, pop the pan back on and then get those veggies and chorizo on the pan and give them a fry. When you cook the chorizo, it's going to start releasing the oils, so that will help cook the veggies. You don't really need to add any extra oil at this stage. Add your garlic, give it a further 30 seconds or so before adding in some red wine to help deglaze the pan and get rid of any burnt or sticky bits of chicken at the bottom of the pan. Add in your cherry tomatoes, give that another minute or so just to allow them to break down a little bit. Add your chicken back into the pan along with some chicken stock. And then for herbs, we're using some thyme and oregano. The next one is optional. I'm putting in a little bit of chili flakes just to give it a tiny, tiny bit of background heat. It's really not spicy, it's just like background heat. And then sun-dried tomatoes, again, full of flavor, absolutely delicious. And pop in your uncooked orzo. If you've never cooked with orzo before, it's basically rice-shaped pasta. It's really, really tasty. Pop the lid on it and you want to simmer it for anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes until the orzo is soft and most of the liquid has been absorbed. Keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Add in your basil leaves right at the end and just mix them through. Plate it up, hit it up with some more basil or parsley and then get stuck in and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, drop me a wee comment below. Let me know what you think of the recipe. And if you want the full written recipe, download my recipes app. The link is in the description.